It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Alesmith Brewing Company in San Diego, America. And this is their 394 Pale Ale in a 12 fluid ounce can. It's 6% ABV. And it was sent by the wonderful Lister in America. And he's written me a, a really nice letter to go with this beer. Um, it says, hi Simon, it's Lister here again from California. Although right now I'm sat in Amstel Schiphol Airport at 5am on my way to England and I brought you some beers. So he's packed the beers in his suitcase. He's brought them over to England and he sent them by post in the UK, which is absolutely awesome. So he sent beer from uh, San Diego, LA and Central Coast San Francisco. This one, of course, is San Diego. Ale Smiths. Um, I'll give it a bit of a read in a moment, but um, he's saying it costs about one pound six or one dollar sixty a can. Um, it's ten dollars for six cans of this beer. So without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. we got a one finger white head, a golden amber coloured beer, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It looks terrific. Really good beer, really good looking beer. It's that classic American look, I would say, for a beer. Uh, when you think of American pale ales, IPAs, they generally got this deep amber colour to them. They use darker malts maybe for the for their beers. Maybe sl something slightly darker than a pale malt. Let's get the aroma. Uh, let's first of all this it's not a can conditioned beer. There's no sediment in the in the can. Uh, let's get the aroma. really hoppy wow really hoppy but what i also find with american beers is that there's a higher level of sweetness to the beers you can almost get that sweetness in the glass but at the same time you get balance you get a, a spicy pepperiness at the same time a bitterness even in the aroma but there's grapefruit passion fruit of Grapefruit, little bit of passion fruit, lemon, the pithy kind of orange peels and lemon peels. It smells absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Lister, for the beer. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Wonderful, wonderful beer, really clean, really refreshing, really drinkable, but clean. That's the best way I can describe this beer. It's not overly sweet over here or it's not overly bitter over here. It's just doing, it's offering up a lot of balance. There's a lot of balance to this beer, but it's offering up a lot of drinkability. But with that drinkability comes flavour. They've got on the back of the can here, citrus, tropical and smooth. Now, Lister, I believe Lister is from the UK. He's gone to live in America. And he comes back to the UK to visit family. So because List is from the UK and there's a lot of people from the UK probably watching this video. Um, people from the UK understand smooth. <coughs> if you're in your 40s, maybe mid 30s, you probably remember smooth style beers. 
you had John Smith's Extra Smooth, Flowers Smooth, Brains Smooth, Cream Flow beers, Worthington's Cream Flow, which, which generally, when you think of Cream Flow, you're automatically thinking smooth and creamy. So we, we understand that language of smooth. Um, and it's a language, it's very interesting because it's a language that um, British Bruin has moved away from. We've moved away from that because of the generic use of the word smooth with large breweries. <clears throat> so it's very rare you would see like a, a beer from Northern Monk Brewing Company or Magic Rock or Tiny Rebel or a lot of these other kind of medium even even a lot of small craft breweries they won't be using the word small because oh sorry not small smooth sorry because of that very kind of close connection with those awful and they were <clears throat> they were really awful styles of beer from the 1990s <coughs> but of course in America, it doesn't matter really if they use the word smooth, does it? Because there's no connection. There's no direct connection with that word and their brewing. I wish we could use the word smooth more in the UK because this, and the reason why I'm mentioning this whole topic is because this beer really is smooth, really creamy, really lovely, really kind of balanced, great drinkability. fantastic drinkability actually you, you would never think that you're drinking a six percent abv beer here the balance is tremendous between that little bit of sweetness that little bit of bitterness over there i mentioned orange peel and lemon in the aroma of the beer in the taste it's orange peel there's some tangerine there's a little bit of passion fruit a touch of mango little bit of grapefruit there's lots of flavors going on here with a nice little tickle of bitterness on the back end so lister says um, i'm going to read the segment of the letter regarding uh, this 394 parallel uh, from san diego ale smith 394 parallel uh, ten dollars for six so about one pound sixty a can one dollar sixty a can sorry ten dollars for six uh, for me, a great beer to sit back in the garden with and crush a six pack on a sunny afternoon. Totally, totally with you there. One of my best favourite things to do is to sit in the garden drinking beer. <clears throat> American Pale Ale is such an underrated style, but everyone loves the 394 here. It's very good, Lister. It's very, very good, this. Really good, in fact. really good solid drinkable refreshing a real refreshing pale ale and look at the lacing on the glass the fact that you can pick this up in the supermarket i think is a great thing i think the evolution of of, of craft beer is is great that it's made this way in the supermarkets because it makes it more accessible to the general public people with not you know not a great deal of money can can probably afford to go and buy a six pack of this and enjoy it on a sunday afternoon and why shouldn't they i think i think it's a great thing it's a great tasting beer for the money one one dollar sixty a can fantastic value for money gonna rate that for the money that's a solid nine out of ten so nine out of ten from real L craft beer Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.